Hey guys, this is Junior Trader, and in this video, let's take a look at Netflix stock. There's a, well, post earnings, Netflix on the count of increasing their subscribers has been going up quite massively, it gapped up, and we are seeing continuation. So I'll be covering a lot of articles and news as things are, you know, um, working out for Netflix post earnings. And let's also take a look at price action in this video to identify what type of levels and provided how the price action is reacting what type of positions could be taken here with netflix so and i mean is this the time to play intraday or swing and so we'll cover all that stuff guys with that please remember none of this is any financial advice and it's only for education purposes also if you can please hit the like and subscribe that will be amazing all right guys so let's start off with some of the well earnings First of all, definitely. So they beat on revenue. Um, the earnings came though negative. So um, I mean below estimates. They're still profitable company though. Okay, but it's just below the estimates. Now we have a gap up in the price action. But before that, let's take a look at some of the articles in the news that came out. So this is the first one. Netflix shares are fully priced. Wall Street analyst says. Here are six other media stocks to think about. So by Philip Van Dorn, um, pretty much they say that, and so Netflix has been firing on all cylinders, but analysts see little upside for, for the stock from here. And they go on saying that there are other stocks, or sorry, the shares, oh yeah, the stocks you can look into, into the media industry if you are looking for that. So this in, in Netflix is priced to the perfection. We'll take a look at technicals in just a second, but let's cover what's what's the what's, what are the voices in the market right now. Well, and if you're a WWE fan, you are having Netflix to stream it exclusively starting 2025. So a year out from now, um, WWE is going to be exclusively on Netflix. So good for well, good for Netflix for the fans who are into WWE. I used to watch it when I was a teenager until I realized, well, everything is scripted. And that's when I was like, damn it, Brock Lesnar fights weren't real? No, <laughs> Undertaker fights weren't real? No, it was all scripted. Oh, my emotions went away then. I was like, oh, you know, because I always wanted Brock Lesnar to win all the matches. And then when he would lose, I would feel very sad. And then, you know, it was as all scripted, right? So I was like, well, it doesn't feel right to me. I, I really want to see the person who deserved the most, you know, real fight, real match and win also. You know, yeah, my emotions were too much invested in WWE, but then I grew out of it. So, but anyways, um, here we have Netflix is maintained at neutral by Goldman Sachs and they raised the price target to 565 from 500 and they had to do it guys because Netflix got above $500 right after the earnings. So, you know, this is where they were having all of their price target at this high at one of these levels right around where it was finding this technical resistance as well. Now we gapped out of it. They have to raise their price targets regardless for one reason or the other or no reason as well. So $600 is what they're talking about. As I said, we'll take a look at the price action in just a second. Citigroup raises Netflix price target to 555 from 500, keeps neutrals, neutral rating. Netflix has an average rating of outperform and price targets ranging from 335 to $700. So there's some um, still, you know, with the price target at 700, there's another one, DZ Bank or DZ Bank, how it said, upgrades Netflix to buy from hold, raises price target for to 600 from 495. Again, they all have to do it, guys, because Netflix is above their already, you know, price target. So, um, and so, yeah, there, there are a lot of, you know, um, elements. So here we go. We have Key Bank raises Netflix target to $580 per share and Pivotal Research sets Netflix target at $700. So, oh wow, and Deutsche Bank downgrades Netflix but raises price target. I'm curious about it. Does it talks about that over here? 
So um, several financial institutions, uh, Evercore, ISI has also increased Netflix. Yeah, I'm not seeing Deutsche Bank, guys. Here, here we go. Following the fourth quarter results, Deutsche Bank downgra downgraded Netflix from buy to hold, but raised the price target to four from 460 to 525. Macquire has upgraded Netflix to outperform from neutral and has increased the price target to 595 from 410 and 700. So you're getting the point. I, I really don't know what Deutsche Bank means by this downgraded, but they've, you know, upgraded the price target. So price target is higher, but they downgraded from buy to hold. I think that's those are the words they go by. Downgrade means if earlier rating was buy then hold and hold to sell is also downgrade but then price target can be different so it can still go higher so these are two different numeric values are different than the upgrade downgrade things so yeah yeah it's always confusing for me but yeah this is what how this do it all right now guys let's talk about the price action let's see is is sub is 500 sorry 600 dollars 700 dollars five you know uh, some even have 555 does all this make sense to us let's take a look at technical so and oh sorry netflix is bullish guys it's above 20 50 and 200 days moving average oops sorry and the way it gapped up after post earnings because they had massive subscribers numbers the way it gapped up was technically it was forming higher highs, higher lows all the time, and this is a breakout, clean breakout, explosive moves. It was not forming any lower high, and it was forming this wedge or triangle, and it broke out of it. So this is full-on bullish, okay? And after any gap up, guys, usually short sellers will come in, they'll try to short, and that's how naive short sellers, you know, do the trading, and then you can see we gap, we next day we follow up, right? So... And these also, you know, usually leads up to some parabolic moves because of the same reasons. First of all, short sales also start covering. Now, we do have next level at 582. Very likely we can come up there and we have 593 and 622 as well. And like, guys, looking at the market, all in all, I won't be surprised if Netflix, so $700 is where Netflix high has been always. So, and some price targets are at $700 as well. And the way market is, all these, uh, you know, uh, tech stocks are going to their all-time highs. I wouldn't be surprised if Netflix was to 700 from here, you know. So that's a very likely possibility. So let's take a look at hourly interval and let's talk about some technicals for the price action for what type of intraday trade or for swing trade, what are the levels to watch, where are the reload zones and all of that stuff, guys. So the way Netflix closed today, the last hour, it's very bullish. Yes, in the post market we are selling off, but I don't I don't see any reason of not be able to play this to the upside. I think there is still a lot of room on this one that it could be played to the upside. So what is that? Now let me actually adjust something on my indicator real quick, guys. Okay, it's already high. I'm just gonna remove the self-adaptive level because market is off. So I just want to see if something is no that's fine so i'll keep that on there's not much difference there so guys break above 563 tomorrow is your continuation to the long play it's the it's the game to the upside and i would say that anywhere from 552 and let me actually mark this here for you guys anywhere from even here 556 you know this zone you know, it's still a buying zone on Netflix. And you can have your stop loss over here. This is, so from all the way 550 and above, guys, it's still a long play on Netflix. This is still an uptrend on Netflix, okay? So things might start changing or intraday short if Netflix starts breaking below 548 and 545. Then Netflix can give some downside play, but that those will be just a cool off play. Guys, Netflix is bullish, and those cool off plays might be well, yeah, not well, 535 and possibly mid range of 520. But I expect Netflix, you know, to stay bullish actually. And technically, guys, you have to trade with these levels. 563 and up is up game. 
And then also $550 level from up here is still a long game. There's a short play below the level of 544, right around over here, okay? And that's pretty much it. Very simple on Netflix, guys. Let's even take a look at five minutes interval. And yeah, we pretty much went all the way up to one of our day trading levels plus. These orange lines, guys, every day resets for your day trading purposes as well. So if you get, wow, look at the volume in the last hour on Netflix. Wow. So yeah, guys, if you have access to my indicator, you would have these lines. And if you are not, and if you are interested, um, the links are in the description below. I have my, you know, indicators, my day trading bot, there's premium membership as well for Wall Street alerts, uh, un universal indicator, stock watch indicator, and then I have, you know, my a membership links in the description below also my discord links in the description below and this discount if you happen to join for six months cool good stuff so guys yeah you got the levels right to trade on netflix and all in all guys my sentiment on netflix is is still bullish it's don't short it just because it's extended or rsi is overbought cool off may come i and i gave you the levels of cool off okay there's nothing guaranteed in stock market you have to, you know, take the longer sentiment and then you have to set your levels for what type of play you are taking and then where you need to have your stop losses. Well, this is it, guys, for this video. Hope you found it helpful and valuable and I'll see you in my next videos then. Take care, guys. Bye.